You better not be bringing home a VW. Well, here it is, tucked away in the back. Swamp Rat. <laughs> Swamp. Let's look out for a motor. It's not good. No air cleaner. Alternator. It's got an AH. I think that's a 73. Snowflake taillights. Big old system in the back. It's got the old formula. Oh, check this out. <laughs> like sewn in. Yeah, there's sewn in there. Smells like it's been sitting for a while. Oh, we got a key. That's good. Rats rule. Smells a little micey. Not too bad. I think this is a 69. Wow, the door closes. Nice. Wow. I might have to buy it just for that. Swamp rat. Peanut turn signals. Oh, we got a <laughs> got a couple musty one specials right here. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, there she goes. Swamp rat. Yeah, she feels uh Feels like uh, <laughs> a little heavy. <laughs> she feels a little heavy. <laughs> well, there it is, guys. Swamp rat. Taking it home. As you saw, we were pushing it out. She doesn't roll too good. She's going to need some brake service, but uh, pretty solid car. Pretty stoked to have it. Happy to have the help here for the muscle. Swamp rat is loaded. What do you think? I like it. <laughs> Can we drive it? Does it run? I think so. I, I don't know. It hasn't I didn't start it. I love it. Mm. Back in the Look at the seat covers. Little frogs on there. Mm -hmm. Check that door out. Close the door. Breathing the rims. Eh. Got snowflakes. Oh, wow, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, maybe mommy will let me keep it because it has snowflakes. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, I don't know. No, it's not seized. It's not. Oh, it's in gear probably. All right, so Jen just came outside and she's like, I'm not happy with you right now. I said, Jen, it has snowflakes. She smiled and said, Josh did say it had snowflake taillights. Well, let's see if they light up. Let's put the juice on this thing. It's 
nighttime. The key's in it. Let's see what we got here. Stereo comes on. We don't have dash lights though. Not good. Headlights work. One taillight's better than none. I like the look of that. I don't like the fact that. That's good. I like that. I don't have dash. Don't have dash lights though. Not bad, but like, like you're gonna hear that over the uh, Stinger Baja exhaust. You're not gonna hear anything. So we got nothing. We're gonna have to diagnose that. It doesn't turn over. All right, guys. Well, it's the next day. Swamp Rat is off the trailer. I'm gonna get ready to do a uh, quick wash on it. Just gonna button up some things in the engine. I threw the air cleaner on it. Put a cork in the old stinger. Get it cleaned up. They went ahead and cut out the original. Uh, well, they added a went to a 12 fuse fuse due to the killer stereo system i guess i i haven't gotten in there yet but look at that door closed that's why i bought it one of the reasons got the hood pins um rubber straps i ordered those last night so i'll go ahead and get this thing washed bring you back get the interior cleaned up and then we'll get into the awesome electrical issues this thing has so yeah no dash lights step one and of course it's all custom All right, well now I can wash it. I'm gonna hand wash it. Definitely want them to be careful around the um, hand painted Swamp Rat logo. Paint's actually pretty nice on the car. Real smooth. Typically don't wash the car in the sun, but it's kind of chilly out today. So we've got some bubbles down here. But that'll just kind of like blend in the rust color with the stump color. So we're all good there. Look at that door. I was just buying it no matter what for the door. So I paid $1,000 more for this than I did the 57 oval. I called it a 56 in the last video, but it's the 57 as most of you know. Just early AM, wean hours, editing. Kind of forgot what year it was, I guess. Well, the interior uh, cleaned up pretty good. I've had some of this left over from the whole, uh, you know what craze about getting chemicals and product, and it's way too potent for the inside of the house. 
So it'll be perfect for this. We'll just sanitize this, try not to get it all over my wires, and I'll hit it with a brush. I don't really care about the stereo wires. All right, well, I rinsed that out just with no, uh, no engine on, just loose power washer, rinse it out. Get some of that mice activity out of here so we can work in here. Well, it's time for my specialty where we just go ahead and, you know, troubleshoot and poke at wires and, uh, yeah, all that. I'm really awesome at this. All right, so I'm going to start cleaning grounds. We'll start here at the battery. We'll get the cables all cleaned up, and then we'll head on back to the starter. So that's what we're going to do, take everything apart, even going to pull this out of here. I believe that was the problem with my Carmen Ghia, the 68, if you remember, I believe it was that. So we're going to clean everything. See that little bit of rust? That could be it. That could just be, that's all it takes. So I'll go ahead and get this all cleaned up on the wire rail. If you don't have one of these, these are awesome. I love this thing. That's what we're looking for, nice and clean. That'll work. All right, well, it's not freshly charged. It's at 12.5, it should be good. This was in the uh, oval we just started, so. Let's see if we get dash lights. Got nothing, no dash lights. Let's see if it turns over. Oh, <laughs> so the dash lights were defunctional. Excellent. Well, this is getting better. Get some dash knobs. We need a shifter knob. Found the gas pedal. So those are pretty rusty, but I was in the garage looking for something else and I found these, so go ahead and get these changed out. Yeah, these are original. Pretty stoked to have these. They're pitted too, but they're way nicer. Aftermarket versus original. Much better. All right, well, George is over. He wanted to hear this Baja run, so you know what? I just said, let's just send it. So it's got fuel, a little fuel in the carb. Let's see what it does. All right, here we go. That it or you shut it down? Yeah, I just shut it down because I, I pushed the pedal, it didn't come back. I'm gonna have to lube the uh, I'm gonna have to lube the, the uh, cable, so we'll get the cable lubed. That's awesome, that is awesome, sweet, nice. All right, guys, so we had a sticky throttle cable, went ahead and uh, made a quick adjustment, adjusted the uh, choke, and lubed the throttle cable. So now I think the pedals, I think the pedals moving freely. Let's just check here before we fire it. 
good. Feels good. Here we go.